Hello and welcome to another Mr. Carter Science Special. In this video, we'll be looking at the liver, the liver functions and the effects of liver damage on the body. If you've been enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also comment below to let me know what you've learned during the uh, next few minutes. So let's get going. What is the role of the liver in the body? Well, firstly, where is the liver? Well, the liver is a large reddish brown organ found in the abdomen and the liver carries out many functions. In fact, liver cells, interestingly, can also grow rapidly and regenerate, helping to replace any damaged liver cells. The liver has many metabolic functions and metabolic means the chemical reactions that happen within your body, within the cells. So the liver carries out many of these chemical reactions including detoxifying and breaking down poisonous substances such as ethanol or alcohol, the breaking down of excess amino acids to form urea, and then passing the urea in the blood, into the blood so that the urea can be removed from the body by the kidney in your urine. The liver will also break down old red blood cells and store their iron so it can be used to make more hemoglobin for new red blood cells. And the liver will also break down lactic acid formed during aerobic respiration and turn it back into glucose. Oxygen is then used to break down the glucose back into carbon dioxide and water and help to repay the oxygen debt built up while the cells were make, forming um, lactic acid during the anaerobic respiration. The liver also produces bile. And that bile gets stored in this little organ here called the gallbladder. The gallbladder will then secrete the bile into the start of the small intestine, an area known as the duodenum. Bile is an alkali, so it will neutralize any stomach acid that leaves the stomach, and it will provide an optimum pH for digestive enzymes in the small intestine, a pH that's around neutral or slightly alkaline. Bile is also an emulsifier and it will help to break down fat droplets by increasing the, fat, uh, the surface area of the fat droplets so that enzymes can work at a faster rate. But what happens if the liver gets damaged? How will liver damage affect the various different metabolic functions of the liver? Here you can see, for example, a nice healthy liver, which is able to carry out a large range of those metabolic functions we've just discussed. And on the right, we have a liver that's suffering from a disease called cirrhosis, often caused by drinking excess alcohol, although there are many other causes of liver damage. But once you have a damaged liver, what effect will that have on your body? Well, because the liver has many different metabolic functions, it will have many different effects on your body. For example, bile. If the liver is damaged, the liver will not produce bile. Bile will not be secreted into the start of the small intestine. So the stomach acid is not neutralized. So the pH of the small intestine will be acidic and not slightly alkaline. Therefore, digestive enzymes will be denatured and food may not be digested and absorbed into the blood. The person suffering from liver failure may lose weight. Bile, as we've already said, is an emulsifier. It helps to break down fat by increasing the surface area of fat droplets. So without the bile, digestion of fats will be slower. So less glycerol and fatty acids will be absorbed into the blood. So again, the person suffering from liver failure may lose weight for two different reasons. What about lactic acid? If the liver is damaged, lactic acid may not be broken down. This means lactic acid may accumulate in the blood and in your body cells. And lactic acid is toxic, so it's going to poison the body and those cells. A buildup of lactic acid in muscle cells will cause cramps and pains, as you can see from this footballer here. You will eventually get a large amount of muscle fatigue. Any oxygen debt that you build up during exercise will also take much longer to be, repay, to be repaid and so therefore be prolonged. 
What about the effects on amino acids? Well, if the liver is damaged, any excess amino acids will not be deanimated and made into urea. In fact, any ammonia formed by the body's cells from amino acids will be toxic to those cells because the liver can't break down the ammonia. In fact, amino acids will accumulate in the body and in the blood, lowering the blood pH and potentially denaturing proteins like hormones, antibodies and enzymes within the blood and within the body. This, of course, will have a large negative effect on your metabolism. Alcohol and toxins are also normally broken down by the liver, but if the liver is damaged, then these toxins like alcohol will not be broken down. In fact, they again will accumulate within the body and this means the body's own cells will be poisoned, causing pain, jaundice like this yellow skin you can see here, and possibly a swollen liver. The liver also has a role in regulating blood glucose and sugar levels. But if the liver is damaged, it will not be able to respond to the hormone insulin to control those blood sugar levels, those blood glucose levels. Instead, excess glucose will not be stored in the liver as glycogen. And this will result in hyperglycemia, or high blood sugar levels, swiftly followed by hypoglycemia, very low blood sugar levels because your liver is not able to um, contribute to the homeostasis mechanisms controlling your blood sugar levels. This can lead to diabetes, comas and possibly even death if it is not rectified quickly. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video and you now have an idea about the liver, its normal functions and the effects of liver damage on your body. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please comment below. Let me know what you've enjoyed and let me know what you've learned in this video. Thank you very much for watching.